Okay, so here we have a shape. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, do you remember what the shape is called? Mm, a Coke snowflake? It kind um, of looks like one. It is a very similar idea to a Coke snowflake, but this is not a snowflake. This is, looks like a curve? this is called the Gosper curve, hmm. the boundary along the outside of this. Hmm. And then the whole shape is called the Gosper Island. Hmm. Um, or maybe, actually I might have that known, the names wrong, maybe the Gosper curve is the thing that's on the shape that's probably going to be very difficult to see on camera. Mm. But this is the Gosper Island, the Gosper curve, and it's sort of a fuzzy looking curve. But I can still talk about something like measuring a radius or a length in it. Yeah. It goes up to there, it goes up to there. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to triple that line. So instead of just going out to the point, I'm going to add another Two. shape to it, and you're going to see that I go to the same little indentation here if I go yep. to there. And since th these two shapes are the same, this is going one, two, three. three. Okay. So that would be kind of scaling the line. Scaling by a factor of three. So what do you think is going to happen to the area when I scale that by a factor oh, of three? It's a two-dimensional shape, Okay. so it should um, be squared. Okay. Well, but this so, it could be, yeah. So if, I, if, I, if it squares, what, what is three squared? It's nine. 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 So my, vol my area, ha, 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 I almost made the same. Same mix up. My area, if this is the area, this is one. Yeah. The, air, the new area should be what? Nine. Nine. Okay. So but, let's just see. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Now, I can just put these together now because they're not perfect fractals. They're not going to fit together absolutely perfectly. As we go around. Okay. We have seven. So I tripled something that looks like a radius or a, a, a diameter or just a length yep. in here. And what happened to the area? Well, it, it was increased by six. So one went to seven. So one went to seven hmm. instead of one going to nine. So this is this fractal, and we would see something similar with the Coke snowflake, yeah. by the way. Maybe we can talk about that later today, because mm -hmm. um, we don't have it built right now. This fractal, yeah. let's break it apart to, so you can see, has a different scaling pattern than our normal happy two-dimensional squares would, would go. Squares would go one. Mm -hmm. Four, nine, they easily scaled by the square. But when we tripled the length here, we didn't go from one to nine like we did with squares when we tripled the length. We went from one to seven. Strange. Yes, very strange. So the idea, the scaling idea, helps us come up with a dimension for this shape. And that dimension is not an integer. It's not an integer dimension. Yeah. Like the one and a half dimension. Yeah. But we can see it, so it must be a lower dimension. It must be a lower dimension than three. But it could, or it could be in three. There's infinite dimensions. That's right. There's infinitely many dimensions. You look very bothered by this. That seems strange I did not to you. know there was like half dimensions. Yeah. Hmm. There's irrational dimensions. And there's rational so dimensions. There's two dimensions. Yeah. But the ice dimension. Well, actually, I don't know about that. I don't know. Why is an imaginary number? But so here you go. So here, you, this is an example of something that does not have an integer dimension. Hmm. And these, this idea of talking about dimension this way. Um, at least in, for me, my, my understanding of it came from a guy named Mandelbrot. Hmm. 
All right, well, good work today, guys. This was fun to talk about. It's kind of an interesting shape to see and understand. Good work.